Hi, welcome to another video in Audi A2 Project Young Timer series. Uh, why am I filming this video? Because the air conditioning does not work. And this is uh, quite a common uh, problem in uh, Audi A2. The problem is the sensor for evaporator outlet temperature and uh, aka G263, I think. How do I know that this, uh, that this is the problem? Because I've checked it with uh, diagnostic, but I will just verify now once again so that we can verify that this is really the problem. And here we go to VCDS. We open uh, module uh, 08, uh, auto HVAC, which is air conditioning. And then we go to uh, trouble codes, to fault codes. Here we open and we, we should see Yes, there is one fault code, sensor for evaporator outlet temperature, G263. So, as I said, this is a common, uh, common problem with these cars. The problem, uh, the major, uh, it's not the, the cost of the sensor, which is only, I think, 15 euro if you go for HELA sensor. I will put the link to the part number below. Th th this, is the, this is not a problem, but the problem is that the sensor is under the dashboard which means that there should be quite a lot of work uh, but let's go to it uh, i i found this info uh, i found the info that it is also it takes a little bit of work but it is quite easily to replace it without taking out the dash i found this info on uh ld882 owners club forum and i will link the post below you you can check it um, yourself and now let's go and start so first we start with the removal of this piece of trim. I have already removed it for, uh, so the, just that I checked it, how it should be removed. You will need to use quite a lot of more force than I, I, uh, than, than I, but I will show you where the clips are and what you need to be very careful down below, uh, not to break a uh, uh, part that goes into this piece of trim. So you just take the screwdriver put it in and then just use the force to to unclip the, the to unclip this piece of trim as i said i've already uh, unclipped it so it was quite easy but you will need to use quite a lot of force if you look now here is one clip and here is the second one so they are just in the uh, they are just inside they go inside this metal clip so this you just push out but do not push it out also below because here you have this pin that goes into this stream. If you will try to push it out here, you will break it. So you need to push it out and then take the trim slowly up. For this, uh, then we need to remove also this trim. And uh, this, uh, uh, first I will start with removing the rubber floor pad because it will allow to go it will allow the clip uh, the trim to go up so here we start with here at the back also this piece of trim has three clips one is here the second one and the third one so we just need to to uh, firmly push it uh, to firmly push it up as i said i already um, uh, unclipped it so it will be a little bit easier and here these clips uh, went uh, out and here you need to be careful because here it is attached to this piece of trim so you need to carefully take it out not to break the pins and now you just push the the, the whole trim you push inwards like this and you take it out now i will show you the pins here is one the second one should be here and the third one is here let me just find them Okay, I will find them later. Okay, here is the second one and the third one is also there. So this, these pins you can easily uh, put it back. If they fall out, you just put them you, you just put them back and this is it. So one, two, three pin, and here is the pin that locks to the rear to the rear trim, plastic trim. So uh, now that we have these uh, two plastic trims removed, this one and this one, now we need to go um, forward. Since the sensor is under the dashboard up there, we will need to remove also this, uh, this black plastic, as you can see here. 
this black this black plastic which holds also the uh, the OBD port and uh, this front hood uh, opener. We will start with these two bolts. This is the first one and the second one is up there. We will remove them and then we need to uh, disconnect the OBD port and also this uh, opener for the front boot very carefully. Okay, and now I will uh, remove uh, uh, both uh, screws. Uh, I, you need uh, torque 25. And just unlock them. That's it. And screw them. This is the first one. It should be already. Yeah. And this is it. Don't lose them. And now the second one uh, is here. Okay. We need to ratchet it. And just to untighten it. Okay. That's it. And now I think it will be. Yes. This is it. So the plastic is now. The screws are removed. And now we need to unlatch the door hood latch. Uh, disconnect it. How do you do this? You put it, you push it up, look, push it up, and then you take this and push it forward, and now it should go through, and the latch is released. See, this is the door latch, and you just, as I said, I will do it again for installation, is like this. So, here it is, you push it up, and then just push this forward uh, towards the back of the car and then you can release it this is it now we have this plastic uh, removed uh, unscrewed and we will need to also just a moment we we'll need to let me just take this out the cover for the fuses and now okay we can take the whole okay i took now the whole part off and just a moment here is the latch the white latch that holds we need to take it out we need to be very careful to not break anything okay it's going out yeah, let's just push it like this a little bit more and it's out this is it and now here at the top there are some latches and sadly on this car this was already broken it was already open once time once and it looks like that it is already broken so now i will just detach the uh, the uh, diagnostic pin uh, the diagnostic port as you can see you just have here you just push down and you can take it out and now I, I'm able to completely remove this plastic so let me just show you how how it looks now so the top plastic is removed from here down and you can see that uh, uh, we have now better access to this part where the sensor is so next next phase is that we remove uh, this uh, um, air vent plastic air vent and uh, this is held by two screws plastic screws again torque 25 we need and these screws you can easily take out at least this one so you just unscrew it and then take it out be very careful because you see this is the screw how it looks like be very careful because this plastic is quite uh, it does not look to be firm so that you do not break it now this one was easy but the second one is on the other side so uh, i found it e easiest to take torx 25 and then go with my hand uh, about here like this and then unscrew it push this or bend and then unscrew it you will need a little bit of time i already unscrewed it 
but you will do this this is probably the hardest uh, part to unscrew that screw so then when it is unscrewed as you can see I have them both here then you just take it out slowly and this is it the plastic the plastic vent is out and now we have access to the next face of this and we need to remove this uh, this piece so next we need to remove the metal plate let me show it where it is like this then if we go up you can see this metal plate it's held by two screws uh, 10 millimeter which are up there and then there is one behind eight millimeter and one is at the top i will not be able to uh, film this because uh, it's too tight but just so that you know i will now remove this uh, metal plate so before taking uh, out the metal plate as you can see here is this part here in, in inside it was a clip that is connected to the to the cable you can see it now in the center that clip needed to be disconnected i tried it uh, from the outer side so that i didn't break it and i managed to disconnect it without breaking it and uh, so you need to be careful when you try to be as careful as possible so that you do not uh, break it now here we have access to the uh, sensor evaporator temperature sensor and you can see it here this uh, uh, the connector with the white and uh, green cable that goes to the sensor we need to first disconnect the uh, connector out and then we can take out the sensor i will not be able to film it but uh, and you need to twist it a little bit when you are taking it out because it is uh, curved as you can see here from this old one just a moment uh, from this one this is the sensor and uh, this is the this is how it is curved so you need to curve it a little bit and there is the location so i replaced the sensor now and uh, the new sensor sensor is installed now before i will put everything together i will just uh, verify with vcds that there is no trouble code i already deleted the trouble code so uh, i uh, turned the engine on so that the car is running the air conditioning is turned on and uh, let's see if there is any trouble code okay we are connected to the auto HVAC and let me check for the fault codes no fault code that's perfect so that means the new uh, the, the new uh, replacement sensor is working and this should be it i will test the i will test the uh, air conditioning when it will be a little bit uh, warmer i think that it works but i will need to uh, verify because it's quite cold and i will need to verify that the uh, temperature here is okay if not uh, the air conditioning will need to be uh, the gas in the air conditioning system will need to be refilled since it was eight years that the car was not uh, not used uh, th this is it thank you for watching uh, i hope uh, now uh, i need to put uh, everything back, in, back together i hope that this helped and uh, that you will be able to do this uh, replace the sensor alone uh, be very careful not to break any plastics and uh, thank you for watching uh, safe driving enjoy uh, smile when you drive because driving is fun bye